we see the top of the top of the Nelly when we when we were up there. It was awesome. Okay. So yesterday it was a long day. I woke up at uh, six to go take sunset pictures, sun, sunrise pictures. Then we get in the car, we checked in, we get in the car. We drove from Seward to um, Anchorage. We stopped by Walmart to uh, to reload on our groceries, and, and then we went to the uh, camera shop to buy uh, my ND filter because uh, it had too much dirt on my old one. So this is the new one right here. It's on right now. Um, and then we drove from Anchorage to the Elite Rod uh, headquarters. We we saw videos of how explaining the great race. And um, unfortunately, they didn't have the sled dog. So we can get, like they used to have it, so you can get on and then they do like a, a small circle around the, the the building but they don't have any sled dogs so we couldn't do any of that and um, we drove from there um, to um, Denali and on the way we saw I told my wife to keep her eyes her eyes out for moves even in the middle of civilization we saw a lot of smooth, that sign that said moves in like five miles, moves in two miles, and I told her to look, keep out. And we found a moose. He was, or she was swim, swimming. And then I come, I, 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 we parked on the side of the road. And um, I parked the car, I took the, the, the cameras out, and I walked down, kind of, kind of towards him, take some videos. And then it get out from the water and start chasing, running towards me. Go. Disclaimer: You're not supposed to approach moose. But, but I he want, did. But I want to get closer look. Disclaimer: You're not supposed to. Moose are very, very dangerous. So I was. So I ran. <laughs> I, ran I ran back. He waddled. He really went. I ran so back to, to the car. <laughs> Because I heard moose was very really, uh, can uh, trample people, so I ran back. But then it stopped, and then so I, so he went so, back to the moose, and I walked back to the moose again. <laughs> but this time I didn't get really close. I just see what he, he was, was doing. I really wanted to know what he was gonna chase me, real chasing me or not. But he didn't. He stopped. He stopped. So that was a really fun story. And, uh, on the way to Denali, and we stopped at the, the south viewpoint. We didn't see Denali. We stopped at the north viewpoint. We didn't see Denali. This is Denali viewpoint south, and now Mount Denali is actually covered by clouds, so we can't see Mount Denali. We are at Denali, Denali view north, and it's really windy, so it's hard for us to talk. And The top of the clouds, but... And we got in to the hotel at around 9.30. We were retired, so we just eat and then go to sleep. And today we are at the Nally National Park. Like an entire chunk of the day. What? The, the store areas and the airplane. Oh, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Forgot. So after we, we stopped at the Elyra Rod, we, we went to Takina, sorry. We went to Takina. This is a big chunk of the day, that's right. Me, I say it right, big chunk of the day. It's like the, the highlight of, of yesterday. We went to Takina, and um, we were kind of early. The, our tour, our flight tour was at four. We got there around 2.30. We asked to go to a three o'clock flight, but they say they don't have one, so we had to wait until four. So we walk into the town. The town is way busier than I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be like a small town, laid back, probably like 10 or 20 people. There was like 100 people there, at least. It was packed. It's a lot of shops. It, it doesn't feel like, you know, like a, a, a small city. town. It's very touristy. 
Um, we we ate the uh, spinach dip bread. It was it was good, but it was salty. We are at the Tokina spinach bread place, and we're getting one spinach bread, three toppings, so it is one passion fruit with second salted caramel and third guava. So how is it? That's good. That's it. That's it. It's just good. Yeah. Describe the What's flavor. What's it taste like? Yeah. Describe the flavor. Palate. I don't know how to describe the flavor. Okay. It's like garlic bread. Okay. Yeah, it's like garlic bread, but a little bit more metallic. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's pretty much a version of garlic bread, but it's, but more metallic and it has spinach. And oh yeah. Okay, yeah, you're right. You're right. I can't. It's, it's not oh, focused is. though. Yeah. It's good though. It's very good. It's good, but it's overhyped. It's a little salty. And then we really want to try out. We hunt down the the ice cream, the fire we ice cream, but we couldn't find it. So we got and we walked to the um the river, the river park, and we checked to see if the Nally is there, the top of Nally, but we couldn't see it because of the cloud. And so on the way back to the the flight, I mean the, the airport, the, the flight tour, we found another ice cream shop. So I parked right next to the ice cream park, <laughs> illegally. <laughs> and then, and and then mommy got, uh, my wife got out and she got the, the fire, fire weed ice cream, it was great. And then we also got the Northern Lights ice cream, which is like mango, passion fruit, something, something. And then also, when we were at like the river looking at the Nali, there was like a ton of butterflies and they were gathering around in this pool of water. I thought they were stuck, so I tried to help them out and they let me touch them. They weren't stuck. But I let, they let me touch them. It was very nice. We are at the K2 Animation to take a flight tour to Mount Denali. And then we get on the we get on the flight and we get the four of us go on the airplane. And one of us one of us I got really terrified and panic attack. I was and pale. I was like about to pass out. <laughs> see, her face was all pale. She was so scared. So we had we had we had to stop and take get her out and get her back into the building. And only three of us get you know continue the trip. And it was beautiful. It was I think one of the best thing I ever did. It was they, uh, awesome. We they got, gave me a sticker inside because it felt bad for me. <laughs> so me, I didn't make it. <laughs> And then we went, we got up to the, like a, a landing on top of the mountain. I mean, it was awesome. We stand there for like 20 minutes, <laughs> took a bunch of pictures, a bunch of videos. Um, there was a bunch of airplanes there too. Um, we see the top of the, top of the Nally when we, when we were up there. It was awesome. Um, and then on the way back, I didn't get to ride the co-pilot seat. He didn't like it because he couldn't see anything. Because I think he was too short to see over the Thank you. the dashboard, I guess. Um, but he got a, he, he had experienced it, so no one did, just him. Um, and then from Tequila, we drove to the Nally. He missed out on some funny parts. Okay. So mom forgot her sunglasses, even though they explicitly said That's right. bring a light jacket, bring like a backpack, bring your camera, and to bring glasses because it's right out there. She forgot them. She didn't forgot them. They were in her bag. Her bag's small, by the way. It's like maybe this big. She lost it in there. And then, so the well, kind of. Oh, what? So the whole time she was up, up on top of the mountain with the air, on top of the mountain. She kind of opened her eye because she couldn't see because she had no glasses on. Every time we take pictures, she had to close her eye and do this kind of thing, like <laughs> take <your> pictures. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> and then Kaiden, when he was in like the little pilot thingy, they told me this. It's like they like don't touch anything. It didn't don't touch nothing. Touch You're it gonna make the plane crash. And then this little thing's like wobbling and right in front of Kaiden. It's like he's gonna touch it, and the guy's like, don't touch that. Don't touch that. But well, what happened was like. The handle, you know, he's sitting in the co-pilot seat, and when we were ready to land, that thing, you know, moved, and Kaden was like, "Oh, big move, let's handle it." <laughs> <laughs> and the pilot said, "Don't touch it." <laughs> it was funny. Like, we can hear over the the headphones. 